Oval Edge is a data catalog and data governance tool that virtually centralizes all of a company's data into a single repository or catalog. With Oval Edge, companies grow into and not out of their data governance strategy. This is because Oval Edge provides a progressive approach to data governance, leveraging the three C's, catalog, collaborate, and comply, your team will be able to have confidence in your data governance strategy. The first C is catalog, where we make data asset discovery easy by automatically cataloging your entire enterprise data assets. The second C is collaborate, where we provide a self-service collaborative experience for your analytics, data, and business team that enable them to find, understand, enrich, and share data assets quickly and easily. The final C is comply. When we define and apply data controls that ensure data quality, enforce data governance policies, and verify the business is meeting compliance requirements and minimizing risk. In addition to the three C's, Oval Edge will prove easy to use and integrate well in any data ecosystem. Oval Edge runs on a lean infrastructure and is architected with an open framework meaning it can easily and seamlessly be integrated with other applications. In Oval Edge, you can easily establish connections to your source systems by coming to the crawler screen and saying, add new database. You simply select your data source type and you'll be prompted with specific credentials to establish the connection You'll validate and save it, and it will be added to your crawler information list. From this point, you're ready to set up settings on each source for both profiling and crawling. Crawling happens first, and crawling is the action of gathering the metadata from your source systems and then pulling it into your data catalog. Profiling is pre-built queries and algorithms that will run and execute against your source system and gather informative summaries and statistics and also populate the data catalog. In Oval Edge, you can schedule crawling and profiling to happen on your desired intervals and automatically. In the job workflow section, you'd come and click new and then be able to set up your job flows for any one of these job types in the drop down list. You can set up many jobs to execute parallelly, and you can assign an, an expert to receive a notification, and you can set the specific time for which you would like the schedule to run. Oval Edge has a role-based security module. Roles can be assigned to users and to data sources. These roles are set up by your Oval Edge admin and you have control over both the metadata and data level permissions. On metadata, we give read write and read only permissions, and on data, we have ac no access, preview, read, and write. These roles are then assigned to the appropriate sources and assigned to the users, which you can manage in the user manager. Each data source is also allocated an owner or a steward. The owner is going to be responsible for data requests and access requests and more technical questions that arise. Your steward is going to be responsible for the day-to-day -day activities such as data quality issues and content change requests. There is a full-blown workflow module where your users will have responsibility assigned and workflows to follow to ensure nothing gets left behind and everything is addressed. Oval Edge supports column level security, where you can mask and restrict columns of data to help you hide your sensitive information or the information that you are under regulation to protect. By enabling column level security, you can mask and restrict certain columns. When you restrict a column, your admin role will be able to see the data, and that is the only role that will be able to still see that column of data in your catalog. The domain screen also provides you a compliance use case. The domain is what the business glossary is built off of. Our business glossary is where you have your standardized business terms and definitions. 
For those terms, each domain, you have the option to be able to set up custom classifications and custom categories and subcategories. This flexibility allows you to set up the classifications both internally and externally that you are compliant to adhere to. The categories allow you two layers to organize your terms for easy browsing in your business glossary. The Oval Edge Data Catalog is now built after you've crawled, profiled, assigned owners, stewards, and secured the data with our user roles. You're now ready to explore the catalog. You can explore the catalog by searching through the columns of information, and you can also filter columns of information. You can also migrate your way through each of these tabs to dig into each one of these asset types. When we move our way into the catalog, I'm going to come into this Adventure Works production schema. We come into this schema and we see information that's been brought in from the crawling and the profiling. You also can see the information for who the owner and steward is and other top users. And you can see how they've been interacting with this information. Have they been viewing it, querying it, or commenting on it? When we drill down a level deeper to the table level, we're in our work orders table where we can see there's been a business description describing what information lives in this table. We have more profiled results that have been brought in, such as top values, null count, distinct count, min and max values. We also can see the preview of data that was sampled during the profiling. We can see entity relationships that are suggested that were discovered during that time of crawling and profiling. You also can see a built-out lineage in the tool for the complete movement of your data from source all the way down to the destination. Oval Edge supports showing the destination of how your metadata shows up on your production reports, such as in popular BI tools like um, Power BI and Tableau. You can see if there's been references to this table and any other portion of your tool with a direct link to lead you quickly there. You also can dive into the column level details where you can see column level information for a column type, length. You can see the distinct counts and null counts. You can see if there's a technical description brought in that is stored at your database level. You can see relationships to other columns and calculate the strength of those relationships. You can see pattern relationships. Oval Edge will try and predict to you what other columns may have a relationship to the column that you're looking at. If it's correct, you can click this plus icon, which will add it to the relationships. Building out column level lineage is an option in Oval Edge as well. This can be automatically or manually done by clicking on the pencil icon. And finally, you can create references on the column level as well. Oval Edge supports a certification program where you can identify trusted data sources by placing our certification ribbon. Users, while interacting with the source, can also rate your data set by giving it a one to five star rating and leave a comment for others to view. From this level, our 9-dot option allows you to profile individual tables, calculate relationships. You can apply a red flag to all the downstream objects if you notice something off in the data or metadata. You can submit an access request if you don't have access to the data, and it will go to the appropriate owner and they'll be able to grant you access for a specified amount of time. That access will automatically be given and taken away when the time expiration date comes up. You can request a content change. If the business description is lacking, you can suggest a new description and add and enhance the content you see in Oval Edge. You can also report data quality issues where a steward could then come and create a data quality rule to check and maintain for that data quality issue. The Oval Edge Business Glossary allows you to preview 
through all of the domains that you've set up in your security. You can filter by domain, category, subcategory, and search through the terms and descriptions to find the term you're looking for. Once you've found the term that you would like to use, you can go ahead and click on it to learn more about it. There's a business description given, and you can take the title of this term, the description of this term, and the classifications you've set up against this term, and relate it to a column of data in your data catalog. When you do that, it looks like this. You simply associate by clicking this blue plus icon and assigning your term to the column of data when it's appropriate. Once you've done that, you are now in the position to leverage one of Oval Edge's advanced technologies of our AI recommendation tool. You can run an AI job against all of the information or specified bits of information to go and search for other columns of data that are similar or exactly the same as the content in the term in the column of data that you've applied the term to. So right now this search looked for other columns that may have social security numbers. When you find a recommendation that is good, you can thumbs up it. It'll add it to the associated data dictionary and apply the title, the term, the description, and all of the classifications you've set up on the summary page for that business glossary term. In Oval Edge, we also provide you a tagging mechanism to help create a hierarchical structure in which you can organize like data together. You can have multiple levels of tagging. You can have a parent tag with sub-child tags underneath. This is a great way for people who are looking to find specific types of information. They can come in and find all the like data assets associated with the tag. Associating the tags to the metadata is as simple as coming to a source and applying a tag by clicking on the plus icon and assigning your tag. Oval Edge has a handful of collaboration features, which can be found in the My Resources tab along the left navigation pane. Users can come and browse their inbox. Messages in Oval Edge are organized by type. You have your collaboration messages, system alerts, watch list notifications, service desk notifications, data quality alert notifications, and then if you would like to preview everything in one bucket, you can choose all messages. A user has a user profile and they can come in and select if they would like to receive a notification to an external emails provider for either collaboration messages, watch list messages, or system alert messages. They also have the opportunity to add a profile picture for themselves here and change their password. You can view your usage where you can see where you are the owner, steward, or author against any data asset in Oval Edge. You can also see what your level of access is. You can add items to your watch list and be notified on any remote schema metadata change, or you can be notified on any significant amount of data change. And you can dictate what that level of significant is by putting a percentage value here. Oval Edge has a governance catalog where you can peruse the specific governance features all in one place. Here in the data classification screen, you can search across domain and see what classifications have been set up and applied to your terms. You can also use this feature to search against any domain to find out what has yet to be classified and classify them appropriately. The service desk allows you to see what types of requests are coming through from your end users for data access, quality, and content change requests. Your Govern Data Query helps you search for specific things throughout your entire Oval Edge ecosystem over any period of time. This can be helpful for right to forget laws. If you need to find all of the information on a specific person, you can set up governed data query 
configure the terms and search for specific data points. You can set up data quality rules and apply it to both the object level, field level, and you can create custom SQL rules to put in place the data quality rules that you need. These data quality rules can be scheduled to run at specific intervals, and then the status can be seen if they passed or failed. Data quality rules give you the knowledge you need to be able to go to your source systems and correct the poor data quality. You can set up governance policies, which are helpful in certifying data assets as trustworthy. The Oval Edge Query Sheet allows you to select a database, a schema, and a table to perform ad hoc questions against your data. This helps the end user be able to ask these questions even if they are not proficient in SQL. As you can see here, some of our fields are masked. When you try to execute a query without removing those columns first, it'll throw an error. This helps ensure that you are protecting your data all the way throughout the Oval Edge catalog. In order to execute this query successfully, you would remove those columns and click Run. Oval Edge offers a handful of advanced tools to help you complete more com complex and telling jobs about your data and your metadata. You can come in here and build out impact analyses. You can maintain the lineage, compare profile results over time. You can compare schemas. You can compare different schemas across any date period or the same schemas against any date period. We have an auto build lineage feature which will parse your source code and build out the lineage. You can do database table exchanges, file table exchanges, and you also can load metadata from your files into Oval Edge. And there you have it. There was a high level overview of some of Oval Edge's main features and functionalities to help you with your data governance strategy, following the th idea of the three C's of catalog, collaborate, and comply. With that knowledge, you'll be able to find and understand your data, govern your data, build out lineages and understand the movement of your data, and comply with internal and external regulations.